Yo, yo, YouTubers, what is up? Welcome to another unboxing and review. Today, we got Queen's, Queen Studios Spider-Man from Alexa Shut Up from Civil War. Uh, this bad boy went up for pre-order, I think, a little over a year ago. I'm very excited to get it. Before we jump into the unboxing, quick word from our sponsor. If you're looking to get the coldest water bottle out there that lasts over 25 hours, that fits in 99% of cup holders, uh, please use the link in the description below. Get 10% off your order. They have a variety of different sizes. This is the 21 ounce that fits perfectly in my Tesla. Uh, very good size, especially for, you know, your car ones, you know, during a hot day. So I'm very happy with this water bottle. It looks awesome in red. Uh, big fan of the red one. Also like the blue. Uh, but the coldest water bottle, we are doing a giveaway on the channel. So be sure to enter the giveaway in the description below, as well as uh, use my code uh, in the description below to get 10% off any purchases from the website. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get to this. Now, I purchased this from William Wang. Uh, he's uh, like a third-party seller of Queen Studio products. I don't know his exact affiliation, but he sells Queen products and someone told me to order from him. So uh, I was looking at obviously buying uh, Spidey and I just wanted to buy it from whoever had it in stock. And it seems like he gets most of his Queen products in stock quite quickly. Uh, I probably could have saved a little bit of money if I went through like spec fiction or whatnot, but I, I just wanted to get this quick. Alrighty, so the COA was right there. Number 414 of 3000. <clears throat> so that is quite a big addition size. 3,000, yeah, that's quite big. That's like sideshow big. I wish I pre-ordered this because then I could have got it a lot cheaper, but whatever, it is what it is. I didn't honestly think to buy this at all when it first uh, went up for pre-order. So we see Spider-Man body, the shield, spare head. <clears throat> now I did not go for the deluxe version. I originally was. However, it was quite a bit more expensive to get the Deluxe. You know, for just one additional head, it was literally going to cost me close to $500. And I just didn't see it worth that much. You know, Queen charges quite a bit for their extra heads, like substantially more than your typical seller. So here is the base. Has a lot of stuff over it, the little styrofoam. So here is the bottom. Not a huge statue, which actually works really good for me personally, just cause I had, uh, I had very little space for this. So this actually does give me the final version of Spider-Man's costumes, like the main costumes. Uh, cause you know, you have the classic uh, homecoming civil war, which is the red and blue. And then I got the black one from uh, Far From Home, as well as the Iron Spidey. All right. Now, it looks like it's actually like this. So here he is, very small, obviously. Big peg. Fits in nice and good. There you have it. I'm just curious how good this scales with the Iron Studio Civil War line, just because that's how I do plan to have it. Now, Spider-Man is supposed to be a lot smaller. Now, here is the shield, and it does feel metal. Uh, it has a cold feel to it, and it's weighty. So, but, you know, before I put it on, here is the inside. Uh, you know, it looks really good uh, for his arm holding it. Uh, definitely really good sculpt work there. Alright, there we go. 
Now, it does slightly touch his arms, so if you're taking this on and off, it would definitely rub up against that and potentially cause issues in the future. So don't want to be doing that. And here is part of the next stand, because this does come with a few portraits, or at least this one comes with two. And then the deluxe version has the Tom Poland portrait. <clears throat> so I am glad Queen is including extra headstands. And on the back it says QS in gold. Let me show that to you real quickly. So QS. <clears throat> and then I'm curious if I should have put this arm first. There was not instructions in here, so... I hope I don't have to take it off. I believe I may have to lift it. Nope, there we go. Perfect. You know, it's funny, there was actually a statue with this exact same pose, a custom, years ago, that was coming out, and I almost bought that. So here is the standard, uh, just eyes open portrait, as you can see. Uh, and then there is the additional portrait where it has the eyes squinted. If you remember in that scene, once Spider-Man landed, his eyes were open and then closed. So that's another reason I did not go with the Tom Holland one, because it's inaccurate. And you can see that's a very strong magnet. So here you have it. Let's go ahead and uh, get this box out of the way. <laughs> I just had a ton of Hawaiian food, so I'm super full right now. I'm a huge fan of Hawaiian food. It's a lot uh, healthier than your typical eating out, and it tastes delicious. And there's a really good place two minutes from my house. So that's usually one of my go-tos when I eat out, is Hawaiian as well as uh, Mexican. I love Mexican. Legit El Pastor tacos. Yeah, this statue will fit nice and easy in the display. So here it is with the box. You guys can get a nice good look at how this is. So turn Spidey a little bit more forward. There you have it. Queen Studios Spider-Man. Check that out. So it's not a super tall statue, which for me I'm happy because in my display I do not have space for a very big one. Uh, so this actually works really well for what I'm doing. Now, <clears throat> Queen's original pre-order price was only like $485, which is a really good price, and I wish I was able to get it for that. However, with shipping prices and everything, I still think I got it for a pretty good deal, especially considering I'm the first in the world I know of that got the regular version, uh, especially on YouTube, that's for sure. But here it is. Let's go ahead and do some nice good close-ups. So check out the base. So they designed this base to really represent the airport scene, the fight from Civil War. Yeah, you can see all this uh, white gunk from getting out of the box. And I got to take a duster to this first before I even put it in my display. But it has this yellow and black stripe at the bottom come up and you see all this concrete. There is part of what looks like a destroyed, uh, could be part of the like airplane or the hangar. You got one of these cones, the like, you know, for, you know, flying cones help direct the planes. And then whatever that is supposed to be, <clears throat> maybe, Part of a sign that got ripped off. So I know they originally wanted to do the car because that was the accurate, but I guess due to licensing, they wouldn't allow them to do the car. So I do think Queen did a good job in the base overall. It's uh, simplistic, but works and looks good. And it's also actually going to really work great with my Civil War line. Uh, so the base is good and it does prop him up, especially considering his post is, you know, very low, so they definitely wanted to prop him up to give him some size, because imagine if the base ended like right there, then it would just look way too tiny. I could definitely see a lot of collectors complaining. 
So the shield is nice and clean. Uh, like I said, it has a metallic feel to it. I'm pretty sure Iron Studios are not uh, metal. I think they're pl more plastic. But the paint app looks really clean and crisp. Uh, and then Spidey, you know, he has the extreme texture. This is the standard portrait, which I don't know if I'll be displaying this particular one. <clears throat> but your typical Spider-Man costume. So I've owned a lot of Spider-Man statues. <laughs> I owned almost all the comics. You know, I had the Iron Studios original comic, which I really liked, but it had a lot of QC issues. I owned the Sideshow PF, and, you know, I sold that for only like 500 bucks. This was more than that. Uh, I loved the Sideshow one, but it also had a few QC issues. No texture detail. Here you see the spider emblem. That extreme texture work, which I'm a fan of, you know, the Iron Studios one as well also has this extreme texture. Uh, this does not have any battle damage because it's right at the beginning of the fight. Would not make sense to do battle damage. So uh, overall, I do think Queen did a pretty good job on this and they delivered it in quite a timely manner. I just need to, you know, take a duster to this thing. So it has a lot of little white specks everywhere. You know, the bottom of the boots look really well done. Very clean paint app. I don't see a ton of, uh, you know, trying to find if there's any big QC issues. All the lines look uh, painted properly. The sculpt looks excellent, no doubt. So overall, it does look really good. Let's go ahead and... <clears throat> Uh, change out that portrait and uh, see which one we like better. I believe someone's at my front door according to... So you can just take this right off if you wanted to. Look at that. So this magnet is quite strong. So here is this portrait, which I think I actually do prefer because it adds a little bit more uh, like personality. You know, the magnet's actually a lot stronger in this little head versus the main head. Not that this is going to fall off, but it's a lot stronger there. So, yeah, here is this head. And you can see, you know, size reference to me, this is a very small one-four scale statue. But like I said, it works for what I'm doing. So, let's go ahead and check that out. Overall, I do think I prefer this head, to be honest. I think it's more fitting for the statue, especially because that was like one of the big things uh, on this scene is when his eyes squinted. Uh, that was like the, oh, moment from when this happened. So I think the eye squinting is the best portrait. Now, I do like the Tom Holland portrait. Uh, I think Queen did an excellent job sculpting. I think it looks better than Iron Studios. However, for me personally, I do prefer my Spider-Mans with the mask on. I just, even though I like Tom Holland, I think he's an excellent Spider-Man, my favorite one. It's inaccurate to the movie, and I just prefer Spider-Man masked. You know, I like all my superheroes with their mask on, for the most part. I think the only one I like as well unmasked is the Tony Stark head from Iron Studios. I really like that one unmasked. Let's check out this COA. So it comes in a, like a plastic sleeve. The one fourth limited edition Captain America Civil War captures the fan favorite web singers we saw them in the airport battle scene. Intricate, designed, and expertly crafted, this scaled down Spider Man collectible brings the iconic Spider Man to life in his classic red and blue suit with webbed trim. Available in two editions, yada yada yada. Ready to do battle. And you can see the different things. So nice that they include this. I noticed they do the smaller COAs for like the one fourth. And then the bigger statues, they do the bigger COAs, which I think is nice. Let's go ahead and set this up now in the collection. See how it looks next to my uh, Civil War line Iron Studios. Alrighty, folks. So here is the Iron Studios Civil War line next to Queen Studios. Civil War Spider-Man. So it's obviously apparent he is smaller, although I don't think it's out of scale because Spider-Man is supposed to be a teenage boy. And it looks like that. Uh, so I do think it scales appropriately. 
Now the shield is a tad smaller than the Captain America one. Just a tad bit, but not enough to bug me. The Captain America one is a little bit more battle damage because it's more mid-battle. They definitely have a different paint job. I would say Queens is a little bit more vibrant uh, than Iron Studios, maybe because this one's the more battle damaged version. Now comparing Spider-Man, like uh, for example, uh, let's take out this head uh, and compare it to this one, which is actually my favorite Marvel statue uh, for statues. So it is a slight bit smaller. Uh, this one is a more vibrant red. This one's a deeper red. So, yeah, there you have it. Overall, I still think this statue is far superior than the this one, without a doubt. For me, this is the best Spider-Man statue out there, the best Marvel statue out there. You know, I like this more than both my Thanoses, to be honest. I think that statue's out of this world. I don't even know if that can be topped. Let's see if Queen Thanos can top it. But as of right now, it's my favorite uh, Marvel statue. I'd say the closest thing is probably Hulkbuster, though. That thing's a wild beast. But, you know, let's uh, angle this actually slightly better. So, yeah, here it is, though. Check that out. Now, let's just put my Black Widow there for, for namesake. Alrighty, so there it is with Gentle Giant Black Widow. Now, I do plan to do Iron Studios Black Widow there. I think it will pair better, especially since she didn't use that giant, like, sniper rifle in the, you know, in this scene. Plus, her hair is straight. Iron Studios is curly, long, and she's in a fighting pose, and I think it, it just fits a lot better. So, we're definitely doing the Iron Studios one. I just want to show this to you, though, for size. But overall, I am happy with how this looks. Does it look good down low? I mean, if you're standing up, absolutely not. However, in my uh, statue room right here, I am sitting down. So I can still see it quite good. So I don't have an issue with it. Uh, definitely a statue that if it's a room you stand up in while looking at statues, you're gonna wanna have it higher up. Uh, but for me, it does work uh, down low like this, especially in this particular setup. I think it does look absolutely fantastic. So overall, I think it's a great uh, statue, no doubt, by Queen Studios. Looking forward to getting Thanos, uh, who's going to go over there. I, I think he'll look really, really good in the collection. But I am happy with this. Really want to get the Black Widow next, and then we can get some uh, Scarlet Witch and the Vision in. But yeah, I'm a big fan. So, I mean, this is still available to pre-order through a lot of different retailers. Uh, I do suggest it, uh, especially if you have the this Civil War line. If you have this and you want to expand, I think that is the Spider-Man to get. If you just want uh, MCU Spider-Man, don't buy this. Buy this one. This one's far better. Uh, both, just the overall look is just far better. Uh, and I, I still like that Spider-Man more as well. I'd say of the three Spider-Mans, this one's my least favorite, but still an amazing statue. I just really like those two. I love that Iron Studios. Uh, the presence on that one's insane. That's one that has to be really high up. But overall, this is still an absolutely fantastic statue. I would say I like it as much as I liked the Sideshow PF, the one where he's on the one arm uh, swinging. I like it as much as that, but I think the detail and the paint apps a little bit better on this. Uh, just the fine texture work that Queen did was, uh, you know, Sideshow did no texture work. But I just say as much as I like it, I like them both about the same. So it's still an awesome statue overall. I'd probably rate this a 8 out of 10 overall statue. So definitely very cool. Happy to have it in the collection. Keeper for me. Now I got all three Spider-Mans in all the classic iconic costumes from each movie. So there you have it, folks. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Any suggestions? If you guys are looking to purchase any statues, uh, this one, uh, please use the link in the description below. To, uh, it does help the channel, uh, the share sell link. And if you are looking to purchase uh, the coldest water bottle, uh, please use the link in the description below to get 10% off your order and enter the giveaway. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.